everyone so today I'm going to be doing a tag video and I'm doing the stitching style tag I apologize if it's getting kind of dark it's 4 30 here so it's of course getting dark out but I'm just gonna do this tag um, I want to do most of the tags but since I'm a new stitcher really I don't really know what I like totally yet so I'm just kind of picking ones that I can easily answer or mostly answer. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, before I start, I really have not been working on much. Um, I guess I can show you some things real quick. Let me go grab them. Okay, everyone, I'm back. So hopefully it's not too dark, like I said. But um, I really haven't been working on anything. I've just not had the time, really. Um, the bigger projects are kind of just like seem to be in my way sometimes. I know that sounds weird. So I kind of been more working on the smaller projects that are easy to take with me places and all that stuff. So I haven't really worked on much. Um, I really want to get this garden one done. So I did a little bit up here. I think I did all of this. I finished this part. I had to order the color for this. Um, because I could have did it in regular DMC, but since the whole rest of it was done in the other type of floss that is like variegated, I figured I better do that in that too. So I have to do the top of the shovel or the pitchfork. I think I have to do it in two spots. I have to do the tomatoes right here and I'm working on the sunflower right now. So I'm almost done with this. Hopefully I'll be able to finish it. I've been trying to not start a lot because I, I don't want to have like a huge amount and then never finish them. So I kind of want to finish the smaller ones that I have started and then move on to like one bigger one. Like if I finish a small one, I'll be able to start a big one, something like that. Just so I don't have too many going at once. Because right now I don't really have um, a very good storage method, so I don't want them to get ruined and stuff like that. So, But I'm looking into it. Um, I recently was looking through my mom and I's stash, and basically it's her stash because I've been, like I said, I'm new to it, kind of. So um, I've always like looked through her stuff, but I never really did any of it. And then uh, she found these that she had gotten all of these to do she got the christmas one and she got the uh, pumpkin one and the easter one so i kind of figured i found this piece of fabric which i can show you part of it i think i hauled it it was this piece of fabric and it was a huge piece and i actually cut it for another project that i want to start um so i cut it it was huge um, so I should have enough pieces to do, if there's only four, I don't know how many there are of these, but I would like to keep it on the same fabric. The only problem is I don't know what this fabric is called because it came in a Ziploc bag. So it's very small, but, um, so anyway, I'm losing track of what I mean. But, um, so I started this and I got pretty far. The pattern comes with little tiny stars to embellish with when you're done you put one on top of the Christmas tree maybe they just give you two in case you lose one because I don't really see anywhere else you put it and then the beads I have the red beads I need the gold beads so eventually I'll have to get those but here is my progress on this and I was gonna write when I started it but it was before Christmas I don't know exactly when but I ended up running out of one of the colors wait no not running out I ended up not having one of the colors or like three of them I think so I had to go to Walmart and try to find them and I went to three different Walmarts and I finally found them even though we do have a lot of DMC stored that we have I couldn't find those colors because I used to take them and make friendship bracelets out of the loss so now I realize why I shouldn't have did that from my mom's collection because I ended up losing a lot of them so I'm going to try to fill in the gaps with what I have, like, meaning I'm going to try to buy the colors that were missing, so that way 
that I won't have this problem because I was working really, really steadily on this project and I was like, I'm going to get it done by Christmas. And then all of a sudden I just stopped because I didn't have the colors. I needed, I needed the white to finish the window and that's over here and I needed two other colors. So, but that's, I think that's pretty good progress for what I did work on it. And this was in a short period of time. Within two weeks, I did this. I'm not a very um, fast stitcher or anything, so I was pretty happy with the progress that I was able to get out of that short amount of time. So now, unfortunately, I didn't finish it for Christmas, but hopefully I can finish it up soon. I just got to get motivated again. I don't know. I kind of took, like a break just because I go to work and then I come home at 4 30 and it's dark and the lighting like is terrible as you can probably see and I just can't see that well and um I want to finish them but it's like I don't know at night I feel like obviously it's harder to see so I don't really have any time during the day and I was finishing up uh, this round of school so I had to study and stuff so hopefully now I can since I have nothing to do until January 25th when I go back to school maybe I can do that I mean I have work and stuff but maybe I can fill in with some kind of thing I just need to get motivated because there are some projects that I really want to start like that big Halloween one I have but I'm not going to start that until I finish some of the smaller ones. Because like I said, I just don't have a good storage area for them. And I want to make sure they don't get ruined. And I want to make sure I finish them. Because I'm the kind of person, like craft-wise, that I'll start something. And if I get frustrated, I put it down and I don't come back to it. And I don't want to be that way with the cross-stitching thing. Because you buy all the materials and the fabric. And it can get kind of expensive. So... I don't want that to happen with me so if I force myself to finish it then I'll finish it but of course I want to enjoy it at the same time so if I'm not enjoying something or it's boring me I'll put it down I'm not on like a huge like deadline schedule I have to do this now because it just probably wouldn't work for me because I would feel like it's not as fun whatever I feel for I grab and I think that's one of those questions on this tag so let's get into that before this video gets way too long so this is the stitching style tag and there's 20 questions. Uh, favorite fabric? Well, I don't really know, I guess. I really like, let me show you. I really like, when I started, this was the first piece of uh, this kind of, I think it's Lugana fabric. This was the first thing I ever worked on that wasn't the Ada. And I really enjoyed it. So I would say that this is probably my favorite right now. The one with the little cat is very small. I don't know. Right now I just like that one, I guess. Um, I haven't picked it up because it is so big. But um, I probably should soon because I do want to finish it. But I did like that fabric. I didn't have a problem with it. It was easy to see. It's a light color. I mean, I'm, they're not all that color. But that color and style was very nice hoop or frame um i use the q snaps although i wanted to try a hoop i was gonna buy one but i know we have some somewhere so i didn't um i don't know i was wanting to try a hoop i don't think i would mind that but sometimes i do just hold it like that um little christmas one i just held in my hand because it was so small and i didn't have a q snap for that or anything so i just held that one and it worked out fine do you use a stand or just hold your frame? I just hold it, like I said. Um, what is your favorite time to stitch? Well, the only time I can stitch really is at night, so I guess that has to be that. But during the summertime when I could sit outside, um, I got home and it was still daylight out for a while. <laughs> um, I really like to sit at the mid-afternoon at night and that was very nice to just sit out there and enjoy the sun setting and once the sun set I couldn't do it anymore but at least I got a little bit of work in during that time do you use but I also seem like I stay up late like 12 1 so sometimes like at 11 o'clock at night I'll just do some I don't know that's just me I guess 
Um, do you use a printed paper copy of your chart or a digital? I don't really have a means of using a digital one. I mean, I have my iPhone and I have a Kindle, but they're really full and they won't let me download anything else. So I've never tried. Actually, I think I did download the app on my phone, but I knew that I'd have to delete it because I didn't have much room. Um, but I do print it and make a copy because it's just, I can't, although with the cat one, it's a small project, so I just read it from the chart and I didn't mark anything off until I got down towards the presents and the Christmas tree where I really had to start counting it out. But, um, when I did the window, I just looked at the pattern and didn't mark anything off. But I usually do make a copy because I like to mark it off and... Especially if I'm going to put it down and not come back to it for a while, I got to know where I left off. And that still happened with um, the one I got at the garage sale, that goddess one, that big gold collection black bag. The pattern is there, but the person didn't mark it off. So I don't know which way the fabric starts. And it's like got at least 50 stitches in it. But I can't figure out where she started it. The colors are like purple and blue. So I found out what symbol it should be. But her dress is covered in that symbol. And I can't figure it out. And it should be in the middle somewhere. But I don't know. So I've been trying to struggle with that. I don't want to rip it out. Because I feel like it's already partially done. Which is better for me. Because I don't have to find the middle or something like that. But um, I just can't figure out where she started it. So I've been trying to figure that out so hopefully I can either figure it out or start it again soon so I can do it because I do really like that um are you a floss licker sure you gotta get it through the needle somehow right <laughs> okay do you hoard or buy supplies as needed I hoard them like we go to garage sales and we see like big floss boxes of floss and we just buy them we know that we have most of them but we buy them because they're such a good deal it's like three dollars so we usually get those and anytime we see a really nice pattern we just pick it up because like my aunt does it too so she could like it and so we always like commingle our good I guess and we like show each other them and and so I get them and I found a lot if you guys watch that one garage sale video that I put up not too long ago I got a lot of stuff then so we will go through that and you know maybe sell some of the quilting things like I said but um I don't know I just I like to get a lot of materials and that way I don't have to spend a lot because each floss is a lot so if I can find it at a garage sale for four dollars for the whole entire like floss box I'm gonna do that so I can always give it away or trade it with my aunt if she needs it or, you know, let her, let her have it, whatever. So we do have a lot of stash and eventually when I get it set up, I will show you. It's not all mine. It's mostly my mom's since I am new at it. But I'm kind of getting my own little stash going. So I did buy some things from 123 Stitch and I didn't get to... Uh, do them yet like show them but um eventually I'll do that too it was a really cute flamingo mill hill kit because I needed some I forget what I need oh I needed that floss for my project so I got that and I couldn't just order one thing so I ordered a few more things as well okay what is your favorite floss right now I haven't really gotten to use many different flosses but I do like the regular DMC and I like the variegated threads just because they're basically the same thing to me. I don't really know a lot about floss difference. But I do like both of the ones I've been using. Are you a serial starter or do you have a work in progress at a time? I guess a serial starter. I started a lot of them and I didn't finish them. And I started ones after that. So yes, a serial starter. But not too many. Like I said, I am limiting myself. Do you have more FFOs or UFOs? I suppose more UFOs right now. Do you watch TV while stitching? No, um, I mostly stitch upstairs because I just stitch upstairs. <laughs> um, and we don't have a TV 
up there. So, um, I just sit on the bed and sometimes I watch YouTube videos or listen to music. But it's hard for me to watch them because I'm paying attention to my projects. So, I like to do projects or sections of projects that have a lot of the same color or stitch. So that way I can count seven and just know that I have to do seven and then I can watch the video a little bit more. It doesn't always work out that way, but I prefer ones that have a lot of color like that when I'm watching a video. Or I could just put like a floss tube video on and then I don't necessarily have to look at it. But I find myself looking at it more than stitching sometimes because it's just so interesting. Uh, do you mostly stitch alone or do you ever get together with someone to stitch? No, I don't get together with anybody. None of my friends uh, do it at all. So, probably don't even know what it's called or anything. So, they don't do any of that. And um, sometimes I'll bring it to my grandma's and do a few stitches. But really, I just do it alone. Do you like to experiment and alter things with your charts? Or do you stitch them just as written? I stitch them just as written. My thought process is I liked the exact way that that looked when I saw it. So, if I end up changing it, I'm not going to like it as much. I think if it was something that I pointed out before I even started it, and I was like, oh, I don't really like that. I think I'll change the color. I would do that. But for the most part, I keep it exactly the way it is. Do you bobbinate floss or not? Yes, I bobbinate floss. We bobbinate floss. It's just easier for us, I suppose. But I have gotten bags of floss from garage sales where people put it on a ring and they staple or punch a hole in the plastic bags and then put it on a ring. I have some of those too. But it's not DMC. It's kind of like a weird floss. So I kind of use that like in the case if I were going to change a color, I would just take that one, I suppose. But I, I would like to try to decipher what kind of floss it is. So eventually I can figure out what it is. Do you start a project in the middle of your fabric or at the corner? Um, I've only started in the middle right now because I'm really afraid that I would put all the work into it to find out, out that it's not right. So I have not started on the corner yet, but eventually maybe I will. If it's like one of those full coverage things, I'll probably have to start in the corner, but for now the middle and it always seems to not have like a straight line of color in the middle it's always like four different colors and I'm like really so I usually like to find the middle and then try to figure out which part has the like with my uh this one with my deer one I didn't do that line first I did the deer no, I did the tree first. So I had to start right here, and it's all different colors all the way up. It's, like, variegated because it's, like, a birch tree, I think. And so, but for the most part, I guess it was, like, four across that were white. So that's how I started it. And then I went up from there. Okay. Next is, I apologize that it's getting really dark out. I'm trying to hurry up. You have a work in project work in progress rotation no i don't i just like if i want to do one i'll just do it i just pick it out and start it do you have a timekeeper to keep track of how long it takes you to finish a project no but the garden one i actually did write down when i started it so that way when i finish it i can write on there when i finished it and i think i started that during the summer sometime but i didn't do that with any of the other projects so, because I kind of forgot. Do you use the parking technique? No, I don't. But for the pheasant one that I'm doing, somebody did that. And it looks kind of cool because then you don't have to cut each little string out. You just kind of pick it up where it goes. But I don't really know how to do it. But I just left the floss in there that the person had left in there. So I can pick up where they left off. And I might cut it or I might just like feed it through. I don't know how to do it, so it's probably wrong to just feed it through the back, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, do you keep your orts? Yes, I've started to. Um, I saw this really cute ornament 
thing you could do with them and you just take a glass ornament and fill it with them. I have not that many, so I feel like it will take a very long time, but I've been saving them, yes. And do you like to have a snack or drink while stitching? Um, no, I, I really don't eat upstairs, so I don't bring food upstairs, but I do bring a drink sometimes in a cup, not an open cup, a closed cup. So I sometimes have a drink, but it doesn't really matter to me. So <laughs> I guess that's it for this video. I'm sorry it's really dark. You probably can't even see me anymore. I hope you guys enjoyed this tag video and hope to see you guys soon. I love all your projects you're doing. They're very nice. I enjoy watching them still. Thank you for subscribing to my channel if you did, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!